Media Studies as an A-level subject was first introduced at Pusat Tingkatan Enam Ragang in 2018. First established in 2018 by our Information and Communication Technology Tutor, Chigo Haji Izat, the A-level subject registered only about 25 students. With the basic requirement of at least a credit in English O-level and an interest in photography, computing, and video making, Media Studies instantly becomes a popular hit among many students. Entering the second year of Media Studies, now in 2019, with two Media Studies tutors, namely Chigu Sarina and Chigu Faris, now the department has registered 35 new students. Um, as a new A-level subject to be introduced, I feel Media Studies in PT Marakang is definitely a good subject to have at this level. Uh, this is because with the development and technological changes in the society, many of our youth are quite interested in media production. Many came to use with a basic knowledge of um, making a video or photography <laughs> and surprisingly they even came equipped with the latest DSLR camera. So um, in media studies, not only do we teach students the techniques and aspects of production, we also teach them the understanding and theories of media production. So for example, students will be exposed to the importance of understanding semiotics. Um, students will also be taught the implication of ideologies and its implication in audiences. Understanding the representation of different social groups in relation to media production and many more. So in many aspects, uh, teaching students both the technical and theories is vital for media production. Talking about my experiences uh, in teaching this subject, before I taught media studies, um, I was originally an art teacher. It's a bit different from teaching art, particularly in trying to get the students to understand the theories. I had to learn them myself too. Teaching them the exam techniques to media studies exams are quite challenging too. In the exam, other than, other than creating different videos or magazine for their component, students will sit for two-hour exams. First part is to assess the clip from the popular American TV show like Games of Thrones and Stranger Things. Students have to analyze the codes and conventions such as the sound, the camera works, the editing and lighting. Uh, they also have to write a 50 marks essay to assess different aspects of the current media, theories and technologies. I feel many students see media studies as another prospect option for the future. The reason why I choose media studies as an A-level subject is because I think it would be a great experience, you know, as we now live in a world dominated by media. More so, editing and photo editing like photoshops are good skills for me as I believe that I can utilize those skills for my future work or career. It can also provide me with more flexibility as in the future I can use those skills as a freelancer. Um, I decided to take media studies because it is different than any other subjects I've studied before. Besides, I was told that PTE Muragang is the first and only sixth form in Brunei to offer media studies for A-level. Hence, it interests me more to take the subject. Um, also, not to mention the fact that I like binge-watching movies. And here in media studies, we learn all, so all sorts of things that help us to understand the meanings in films. Well, every now and then, it is interesting to me every time I watch films at home, I would be analyzing it and see it in a different perspective than when I was before studying media. Well, however, most importantly, I take media studies because I wish to take this course called Mass Communication in university someday. Uh, I dream to become a public relations officer, social media manager, or anything that would require me to work in a broadcasting or filming industry. Well, although I might not become any of these professions in the future someday, it is good for me to have goals as it will push and motivate me to put more effort into my schoolwork. Uh, when I first came in the class, I did not know there would be so much to learn from media studies, from the different type of camera angles, connotations, uh, and denotations, and so much more. The subject even delves in a little bit on psychology and how to manage a media production. 
when talking about the challenges, it was personally a little bit difficult when I started making my component one. But when I practiced more, I think I got used to it, giving meanings to my scenes and the different type of camera angles where I should, where I could convey more feelings and purpose for each scene. In this era that we live in, it's unwise for any one of us to neglect the impact and the influence that mass media plays on us. Why media studies at A-levels? It is hoped through media studies at A-levels, it will provide the students with a hands-on approach in making their own video through the film opening tasks, making their own prints through the magazine tasks. So we hope that it will build our student skills and prepare them for the creative industry which is an emerging industry. It is through creative critical reflections that students are able to reflect on how their product might challenge conventions and whether their product will represent social groups or issues. They also think about how they can engage audiences and be reflective on how they might integrate technologies. It is hoped that through collaboration among students that they may also develop more innovative and creative products. Currently, local universities offer courses in digital media, creative computing, design and creative industries. So we hope that this media studies subject will better equip our students to undertake these subjects. These courses are relevant courses due to the convergence caused by the Industrial Revolution 4.0. So what challenges would media studies have? The first would be challenging the popular norm career paths like becoming doctors, engineers. The second would be to come up with a product that has never been seen before. Trying to come up with something new is not an easy task to undertake. The third would be considering cultural production of news factors. This includes privacy, defamation, as well as consent in the making of their content. We can definitely see an uprise in many creative individuals and groups trying to break through. This includes an astounding number of local videographers and filmmakers trying out video making businesses. Especially with the advancing technological changes, breaking into this developing creative industry is easier than before. With platforms such as social media, apps, and self-taught how to make YouTube videos, being a producer and filmmaker is more accessible and effortless. There are now an increasing number of production houses, online YouTubers, and even social media influencers. Nevertheless, there are still many challenges that the filming and creative industry in Brunei are faced with. This includes challenges such as financial budgeting, shortage in manpower, unavailability of creative skills, and complying with the society's rules and regulations. More, many still see the creative individuals in the industry as unprofessionals, as their creative value and talent becomes eroded with the traditional ideologies of professions. 
Many creative freelancers and companies are still seen to be underpaid despite their profound creative talent and values. I started making videos since 2006. Uh, back then, I don't know about YouTube. But then my sister introduced me about YouTube, so then I decided to start an account. Uh, back then, langsung dada orang Brunei lah dulu atau masa aku start di YouTube atau uh, because uh, YouTube is jar apa ni? Nada orang tahu lah pasal YouTube dulu. Back then juga uh, konten dulu dulu mostly uh, banyak short film kan. Eh? Uh, dulu dulu banyak short film. Most of the time YouTube internationally buat short film lah dulu dulu. Uh, tapi sekarang ni apa vlogging sudah ada challenges sudah ada okay so dulu dulu vlogging wasn't really a thing okay in the drama yang buat because it's still new uh, uh, but now everyone everyone like to do vlogs and stuff for their Instagram and Facebook basically for social media lah uh, and then videography wasn't really a thing back then uh, kebanyakan uh, kebanyakan orang pikir uh, videography is such a waste of time uh, because dulu-dulu they think that videographing doesn't go anywhere like it's not really for a living you can't make money from it that's what people think lah back then okay? uh, but now berabut sudah kan orang kan buat video ni uh, they use for commercials and stuff so Ketara lah changes YouTubing atau dulu-dulu Ketara lah ada perubahan Masa sekarang ni orang berabut sudah akan buat content Not like back then Back then they used to say it, it's such a waste of time Nowadays kebanyakan Brunayan They got their ideas from all the trending stuff For example like challenges Like back then there's bucket challenge There's bottle cap challenge and also pranks as well. It's not it's not that bad, but it's not that original uh, like uh, they used to have back then. So I think the Bruneian creative industries is in a very interesting stage. I think maybe two to three years ago, we barely saw any creatives or local artists uh, putting their work up in public. But I think we've gotten to a point where in the past two to three years, a lot more people have really made use of social media. Um, a lot more platforms have come up as well in the form of events or even um, opportunities to be uh, featured on video. And so we're at a time where we have kind of an overflowing, almost overflowing amount of um, artists and creatives out there. And so I feel like the challenge now or where we're at now is the question, now what, right? So two, three years ago, we're like, where are the artists? And now I feel like we're at a point where like, um, okay, here are the artists, now what? Um, yes, there are platforms being created, but I don't think there are enough. And I think uh, the challenge we face now is to figure out how then to bring our local art outside of Brunei. Um, finding an identity for our uh, creatives as well or for Bruneian artists. I think each country has their own identity that you can kind of pick up and see in their artwork across you know, all forms of art generally. And so we are at a time where we need to figure out now where these platforms are and if they're not around can we create them in order to give these local artists uh, the next step forward basically. Despite the challenges in the creative and film industry, media studies as a subject in A-levels help give students better options in choosing their career path. Perhaps this is one of the few things that we need to help develop in the creative and filming industries further in this country. By challenging the traditional academic subjects, media studies can help give students more opportunity in developing creative careers such as media-related professions in Brunei.